Rachel Zegler is everything wrong with Disney. And I believe that she is the final nail in the coffin. Now, I do have hope that Disney can finally stop offing themselves and just bite the bullet and realize the timeless fact that if you do not give audiences what they have been asking for and if you do not treat people no matter their age sex gender or whatever if you do not treat people like critical thinking human beings that yeah you're, you're gonna lose money you're gonna lose money off of your sheer stupidity of self-deprecating asinine bullcrap you're gonna do it <laughs> Disney, as you all know, has been making for the past, what, uh, 15 years or so, they've been making these beautiful, j just, just beautiful pieces of crap I like to call and what others like to call a Disney remake. And basically, each one slowly gets more painful. I'm telling you, you could rank how painful they get on a scale. It's like it goes in perfect order. It's like Disney has been trying purposely to make their audience hate them, even though they claim that all they want is people's adoration and support of new and inventive ideas. But all I see is a bunch of garbage, a bunch of garbage propagated by people who think that they're cool, hip, and edgy, and all those buzzwords, but all they are is a bunch of people who study, I can't even talk anymore, <laughs> statistics in a room and say, hey, what'll make girls l like us? <laughs> and it's the most insulting things. Like, they think by getting someone like Rachel Zegler and getting these writers who haven't seen a Disney movie or just any good movie in their entire lives, they think that if they just take a product filled with nostalgia and then just slap a bunch of nonsense labels on it 50 times over, that we're just gonna keep buying it and buying it. And you know what? We are the problem. We are the problem. <laughs> if you have looked at all the box office numbers for Disney before the past, like, COVID years, you can tell we have been feeding the monster that we all desperately hate. Like, The Lion King remake, A Billion Dollars, Aladdin, Cinderella, Mulan. Oh my gosh, Mulan. <laughs> The Little Mermaid, we've all been feeding this annoying monster that keeps taking our money because as soon as we see that it's a childhood classic that we grow, grew up with, our immediate reaction is, I'm gonna see how bad this is by giving my money to it. <laughs> and it's so sad that we do this because they don't deserve it. They don't deserve our money and our attention anymore until they start treating us like people again, and until they realize that we want good storytelling, they don't deserve our money. It's as simple as that. We, they, we have other entertainment these days. It's 2023. There's a billion different ways to find entertainment and enjoyment. And it's really sad because as pretty and talented as Rachel Zegler is, she's, she's just not bright. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the girl personally, but it's like someone just shoved her out there to the public and told her, just say whatever comes out of your mouth. Say the most nonsensical things humanly possible to get your career killed. <laughs> like, okay, she is not the first offender of Disney bashing. She's not. There have been plenty of people like Emma Watson and other women who have acted in these Disney remakes 
or not even them, just the writers and directors coming out with these insane articles saying that this new movie is not like the old one. It's feminist, guys, and it's edgy, and it's cool, and it's hip, and you're gonna love it. We changed everything and yet nothing. <laughs> like, even if Rachel wasn't a smug, snobby, annoying person, even if she was the perfect, ideal Snow White, if she was just chef's kiss, wonderful, great, PR, love you. Uh, even if she was all of those things, this movie just should not exist. In fact, I don't think any Disney remake should exist unless the story is sim is like the originals like not the disney originals no i mean the actual messed up grim more adult book originals that i know people would make killer fan fiction and fan art out of unless it's gonna be like that or the director and the writers actually you know know what they're doing and are somehow able to magically pull this off it just shouldn't happen because all they're doing is regurgitating what we love but taking the soul out of it. They take the joy out of everything. Like with The Lion King, for instance. The director just could not stop bragging about how realistic the animation was because everyone was saying, huh? Those? Those are real animals? No, you idiots, it's CGI. So who cares? Because when I watch that movie, I cannot see any facial expression on those animals' faces. When Mufasa dies, I'm supposed to, you know, feel something. But all I see is a soulless animal falling to his death. I mean, it's still sad, but it's nothing compared to the palpable emotions of the original. Like, you can see the expressions. You can see everything in bright, clear, beautiful colors. But for this movie, because it's so heavily trying to be realistic and so heavily trying to be like the original, it doesn't understand that. And so there's nothing there because the beauty of animation is that you can stretch everything to a maximum because everything's idealistic. You're making it yourself. You're not just taking real life as life has given it to you and just saying, okay, I gotta work with this. No, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> You can do whatever you want, and yet Disney keeps trading what made them special for something that's sucking them dry. Like, again, back to the whole Rachel Zegler thing, all she keeps doing is bashing and bashing and bashing Snow White. She doesn't understand any context behind Snow White. It's like she said, she saw it once as a kid and was terrified of it, and then never saw it again. And then based off of what she's been told by the culture, I'm assuming, she thinks that Snow White is just the most helpless, defenseless, weak girl, and all she could possibly ever want is a prince to take care of her. Not a prince to love, of course. No, a prince to just take care of her, which is ridiculous like i understand why people think this about snow white because she's not like moana going off to find who she is as a person and discovering that she is separate from her tribe and her love for the water and adventure and she's not like elsa who you know just lets it go and bees herself and has all this magical power like, she's not anything like the modern Disney princess because she was the first one. She was the blueprint. All the Disney princesses, even though they are so completely different from Snow White, you can trace their characteristics back to Snow White. Snow White will always be in those princesses. When it comes to beauty, the way they move, the way they are kind and nice to people, that is very important to the Disney brand, whether Disney wants to admit it or not. In Snow White, even though she does have these weak, defenseless traits, she does make up for it with being brave, with being happy and cheerful, even though life keeps punching her in the face. 
and she doesn't just do anything and then dies and then gets whatever she wants. No, when she meets the seven dwarves, the reason why she so humbly offers to clean and cook for them and be nice to them is because this chick knows she better survive or she's gonna be dead. <laughs> like she knows that these men in their house are her only form of protection and she's gonna work for it and when she's in the woods all alone crying her eyes out she realizes that she's being stupid and says you know what it's silly of me to not be brave i'm alive at least i'm gonna sing a song and be happy what why is that such a bad message for girls to be kind hard-working brave and happy and if so, if you want to find love, you can find love. Why is that such a bad thing we're telling girls? Why does Rachel insist that this movie is so outdated and yet can't see the positives of it? I understand how you could think it's outdated. Even I think it's outdated. But I don't think that it's badly outdated. I just mean that it's outdated because, yeah, it was 1937. Of course, it's going to end up being a bit outdated. But it's not outdated where it's... Bad. It's outdated where the times have just changed on what we can do with storytelling now. So, Rachel, I don't accept your whole fake PR apology because we all know that you had to do it to save your butt. And Disney, I do not accept you hating yourselves anymore. I don't. Stop. Stop trying to kill yourselves to be cool with the kids. It's not gonna work anymore. It's, it's just not.